Welcome to Weligama, a beautiful coastal town, located in southern Sri Lanka. Known for its picturesque beaches, artisanal craft, and rich culture. Weligama is easily accessible via the Southern Expressway, and is a popular destination for tourists looking to experience the best of the south of Sri Lanka. As you make your way through the town, you'll notice the vibrant street markets, where local vendors sell everything from fresh produce to handmade crafts. The harbour is a hub of activity, for the local fishing community, and you can see the traditional fishing boats, referred as a, Arua, docked here. The harbour is also a great place to see the daily catch, being brought in by the local fishermen, and an opportunity to purchase fresh seafood. Close to Weligama, and towards the historic Ball Heritage City, you can see the famed stilt fishermen of Sri Lanka. This fishing technique started in the mid-20th century. It is unique and found only in Sri Lanka, within this stretch of southern coastline. The poles about 3 to 4 meters long, are driven into the sand, and used as a perch. The fishermen toil in the arduous midday sun, just to catch a few small fish. The fisherfolk often forego this means of livelihood, when the seas turn rough, and the fishing poles are abandoned. Birali lace making is a traditional craft practiced as a cottage industry in Sri Lanka that involves the production of delicate and intricate lace. Birali lace is known for its elaborate designs, which are created by hand using a complex weaving technique. The lace is used to create a variety of items, including tablecloths, doilies, and other decorative items. Birali lace making is done by skilled artisans, typically women who have passed on the traditional techniques from generation to generation. The process of making birali lace is labor intensive and requires a high level of skill and patience. Take a stroll down the beach and you'll find kilometers of golden sand, where you can relax and soak up the sun, or take part in a variety of water sports such as surfing, snorkeling, and diving. Weligama is a great location for beginner surfers and there are many surf schools that offer lessons. The area has a surfeit of hotels, from five, and four-star quality accommodation, to more niche boutique hotels, and smaller lodges. Most of these hotels and restaurants are clustered around the Bay of Weligama, with easy access to the beach. But Weligama is not just about beaches and water sports, the town is also home to several historical and cultural sites. The Agrabodhi Temple is a Buddhist temple located in the town of Weligama. It is believed to have been built during the 3rd century BCE. The temple is famous for its large, ancient fig tree, the Ficus religiosa, which is considered sacred by the Buddhist community. The tree was planted by King Devon Ampirtissa in 236 BCE, and is the first of the 32 saplings distributed around the country, originating from the sacred Jayasri Mahabodhi in Anuradhapura. The old sections of the image house were also built in 236 BCE, 
and was the work of King Devon Amputissa and was renovated by successive monarchs in the 13th and 14th centuries CE. Visitors can admire the architecture of the temple, which features several image houses with beautiful sculptures, statuary, and detailed mural paintings. According to Buddhist texts, the Buddha was said to have been able to walk a distance of one yojana in a single day, around 15 kilometers. The stupa at Agrabodhi Temple is said to be a yojana stupa. The Kushta Rajagala statue is a large rock carving located in Weligama. Folklore believes that the statue depicts a king who came to the area and was cured of an ailment or kushta. The rock carving is dated to a period between the 7th and 9th century CE. The statue is carved out of a single large boulder. There are others who believe this is an image of a bodhisattva. The statue has four meditating Buddha figures on the headdress. It is considered to be one of the finest examples of ancient rock carving in Sri Lanka, from the period Mahayana Buddhism took root. The statue is also considered to be an important cultural and historical site, and is protected by the archaeological department. So, whether you're looking for adventure, relaxation, or culture, Welagama has something to offer everyone. your bags and come discover all that this charming town has to offer.